you guys think about this time? Maybe a goldfish, tropical fish, turtle. Oh, no. Um, octopus. Hey guys, it's Sudi here and welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to watch some very bizarre videos that I discovered today. <laughs> well, I already knew that like hamster mazes were a thing. People always sent them to me like on TikTok. People have wanted me to make a video on them and more recently, uh, I've been getting a lot of DMs about the like squid game hamster mazes. Uh, so I watched some of those and they were very strange. But through watching those, I discovered there's a whole genre of like weird kids videos that also involve living animals. It's clearly those channels that are aimed at really young kids and it concerns me that they involve live animals in these videos and more often than not, they are not treated very well. So I skimmed through some of them and just knew that I had to make a video on this because this is so weird. I'm gonna start with the weird hamster maze stuff, the Squid Games ones because those ones are pretty recent and especially one on TikTok went quite viral so I think a lot of them are making them now um, and I've never been a fan of these hamster maze things. A lot of them are just... they just give me really bad vibes. I just don't like the idea of people using hamsters as toys. It's just weird and I don't like the idea of encouraging kids to make these hamster mazes that could potentially harm your hamsters. I mean obviously you can make a good hamster maze that isn't harmful at all but a lot of these ones that they show in these videos like actually hurt the hamsters and could be very dangerous. So I wanted to react to some of them and talk about them because they're very strange and I feel like I'm always... I feel like I'm always discovering more ways people harm their animals so... That's great. Alright, so as usual on these kind of videos, I'm going to be looking off to the side to look at my computer monitor, so I'm sorry if that's kind of annoying, but that's the best way for me to record these videos. So, uh, I'm going to start with the Squid Game ones. Obviously Squid Game is a very popular show right now, great show by the way, but of course this leads to bad things as well, like people making Squid Game obstacle courses for their hamsters. One thing I, I want to say though, I, I can't lie, this set building is actually really impressive and it looks really good. I just don't see the point of using live animals as props in your YouTube videos, you know? Where do they get these hamsters from? That's nothing that concerns me, it's like, how do they have so many hamsters and why? Like, what do they do with them afterwards? Do they actually keep them as pets or do they just use them for these videos and that's it? Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! I, I haven't seen that one before. What the hell? They literally just let this hamster just struggle and be terrified because it's falling. Like, hamsters aren't climbing animals. They're, they're not really supposed to be on climbing things like this, you know? And it's just so mean. This poor thing got so stuck. And then he just falls. This looks pretty high too. Like, look how high this is. Even if they have something like a cushion down the bottom or something, it doesn't even matter because they could still hurt themselves so easily. Hamsters are so small and delicate and even just by getting a leg caught on this rope, they could hurt themselves, they could break a leg. God, this is so messed up. And they can also get, you know, brain damage and things like that so easily as well from falling from like heights and all that. So why would you purposely put your animal in danger like this just for a dumb video? And you put all this work into all these props just for a video of you abusing your animal? Like, <laughs> okay. This is one that I have seen quite a bit and people have sent me. Again, this is like a cool setup. Why do you have to use it for just like hurting an animal? Player two hundred twelve. How far are these hamsters falling? This is so mean. See, like, like you can't even see if there's actually anything soft at the bottom. Like. Here you can kind of see how high it is. It looks really high, especially for a hamster, you know? And I don't see anything soft at the bottom either. Another thing is that hamsters don't have good eyesight either, so they don't have very good long distance vision, so it's very easy for them to fall off things like this. And I just don't understand the point of 
purposely. See, nothing soft down there. I don't see anything soft. Oh my, look how high that is. The sound effects on this is... I was going to say, the sound effects on this is so annoying, by the way. These poor hamsters. They don't deserve to go through all that. The, the least I could do is catch them before they fall, you know? It's to intentionally bring them in something like this where they can hurt themselves. It's so dumb. Player what do they can do for this one? Oh my god! gonna let these hamsters just fight each other now? Let's just like trap these two poor solitary animals together until they fight each other. How fun is that? In case you are unaware, hamsters literally can fight to the death. So this isn't funny. Like this isn't cute at all. This can become serious very quickly. Just encouraging kids that are watching this to let their hamsters fight each other. This shouldn't be allowed on YouTube. And I'm probably gonna be the one that's punished for this. Last time I made a video like this, my video got age restricted and demonetized, so maybe that will happen again in this video. Let's see. <laughs> Love being punished for someone else's animal abuse. And also, I do want to say, don't go and find these videos and like comment on them and stuff like that because it doesn't really help the situation, it only really gives that video more views and more engagement which pushes the video out more so commenting, you know, stuff on their video really doesn't help because people that make these videos don't seem to care and they already do get a lot of comments saying this is bad. I mean a lot of these comments are also just kids saying how cute this is but they know it's bad. I mean these are like grown adults making these. It's not hard to do research on an animal, you know? Oh, and they made a comment on this video. Many people asked if the hamsters were okay after the game. Yes, they were. We put pillows and paddings on the ground to avoid them falling off. They did fall off though. If you'd like to see those hamsters, check out our next videos, haha. <laughs> we didn't avoid them falling off because we watched them fall off. And I didn't see any pillows and padding on the ground, but even if there were, they still dropped them from a height. Like, <laughs> they still dropped those hamsters intentionally from a big height. And that's not okay. Hey, Toku. You wanna say hi to everyone? So I started off with those videos. Then I discovered a whole bunch of weird videos on YouTube. I went down a whole rabbit hole. And some of these videos have like millions of views, it's kind of crazy. There are like these marble channels which actually make really cool things out of these like magnet marble things on my head. Um, but then of course, they have to ruin everything and put live animals in their toy sets. Why? They make this like marble pool thing which, you know, it's cool, it's well made. Like look at that, it's pretty cool, you could put some toy fish in there. No, let's put real fish in there instead because fuck. Oh, here they come. Let's put these beautiful goldfish in this thing. No, uh, stop! Some of those aren't even goldfish. Some of those are like tropical fish. And then, oh, let's add some hamsters too, just for a little bit of spice, you know? Oh, two hamsters. Even better. Hopefully they don't kill each other. Wait, there's a turtle in there? Where did that come from? Hello? There's a turtle! What is going on? Poor baby. Yeah, there's like tropical fish in here as well. There's like platies, I think, or something, with goldfish, which are two very different fish that have very different water requirements, and let alone a fucking redhead slider turtle. Come on. I'm honestly convinced that they just buy these animals just for these videos and then get rid of them, I guess. I mean, I assume they don't keep them in there. I would hope. Just encouraging this and putting these animals in such a stressful situation for a freaking YouTube video. Come on. Hey, a marble castle. That's actually really cool. Really impressive. Oh my god. Why? Why? Look, they they can't even... Uh, they're not even fully submerged in the water because that's how low the water level is. His body is poking out of the water because that's how low the water level is. Like, that's just so cruel. Those poor goldfish. Those poor beautiful goldfish. It's got that, like, typical kids... YouTube video music in it too. <laughs> so annoying. They've got tropical fish in here as well because of course they do. I think these are tiger barbs. Again, tropical fish, goldfish, very different water requirements. Shouldn't be housed together. Oh, and a hamster for good luck. Oh, and another one. Great. 
Plus, the hamsters are surrounded in water. It's not safe to let a hamster be submerged into water. Oh, be careful, little guy. Oh my god, there's three of them. Oh my god, careful. Um, this one has a picture of a crocodile in the thumbnail. I really hope that's just a clickbait. Please tell me it is. Oh my god, what was that? <gasps> what is happening? What is happening? <laughs> oh my god, these just keep getting worse. Oh my god. Is it a, is it real? Oh my god, that's real. Is, isn't that an alligator? What is happening? Where are they? Oh. Where are they getting these animals from? Oh, poor thing, he's scared. Oh, and a hamster too. Great. <laughs> oh, another one. <laughs> are these the same ones? Maybe they do keep them. But wait, don't worry guys. It gets worse. What do you guys think about this time? Maybe a goldfish, tropical fish, turtle. Oh, no. Um, octopus. This is starting to remind me of that YouTuber that made those videos where she would torture animals before eating them. Like she would cut them up like while they were still alive and then eat them. Like I assume this is probably brought for food or something and just torturing them before eating it which is just so dumb. Like still treat them with respect you know instead of like absolute trash. This is so crazy. What are the comments like on this? Wow this octopus is like a size of a chair. Okay. And then there's this whole genre of videos of kids videos where they just fill up fish tanks of different kinds of aquatic species. Um, this video has 6 million views and all it is is filling up a fish tank with different kinds of fish. And a turtle. Is that turtle even alive? Oh, okay it is. Th we got beta fish. Okay, um, yep, let's just add more to it because why not? The turtle is like floating by the way. It's like, looks like it's stuck floating on an angle which is not a good sign of a healthy turtle. This shell, it's got like shell rot too. Oh, poor thing. Oh my god, why do they just keep going? They got plecos now as well. Oh my god. And top it off with some ducklings because of course. What is this? I'm so confused. And again, I'm not sure if they keep the animals in this enclosure. I assume they wouldn't because they would die so fast in this horrible enclosure that's incredibly overstocked. It'll be so ammonia filled so quickly with these different uh, species. And also, they're mixing tropical fish with cold water fish, so they're not gonna. Live. They wouldn't live long in here. But even if it's just a temporary thing, it's so messed up and so stressful and clearly those f animals aren't healthy like the turtle definitely is not healthy so bizarre and there are so many of these videos like it's just a whole thing it has literally children's nursery rhyme music in the background of just cute little video torturing animals Woo! There, is that a cichlid what is happening no stop look at the poor frog it's not even an aquatic frog Oh my god. Oh, he's got like an injured nose, poor thing. Oh, <laughs> that's my favorite fish right there. What is this? Oh my god. It just keeps getting worse. I don't, I think I gotta stop. There is a monkey in this one. Oh no, I don't think I can watch this anymore. This is just too much. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna end the video here because this is like, this keeps going. There's so many of these videos, there's probably hundreds of these videos just abusing animals. It's all like childish and we've got nursery rhymes in the background. It's, it's so weird. So don't go out looking for these videos, please. Just if you do come across them, report them. If you're like a parent and your kids watch these videos, maybe don't let them watch these. I didn't even know this was a thing. Like I've seen similar videos on TikTok, but I didn't know it was a huge thing on YouTube as well. Let me know what you think. <laughs> um, and I guess we'll see if YouTube takes down my video for animal abuse again. That'll be interesting. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thanks for telling me about the Squid Games hamster video, um, which made me go down this whole thing. <laughs> and I hope my video could at least help some of you guys if you were unaware of how bad these videos are and how they're not actually that cute and 
shouldn't be on the platform in my opinion. But yeah, thanks for watching guys. Let me know if there's any specific videos you want me to react to next and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!